So welcome to Homegrown Stories from Highclere. And I thought we'd begin by showing how we plant up a terracotta pot with some herbs. So easy, I'm sure you all know all the top tips for doing it, but Paul's always got some very useful ideas. Uh, Paul is our head gardener here and um, knows far more about it than I do. But the first top tip is... Water your pot first of all, before you start. This is my job, because I'm like a hose. There we go. Okay. Because terracotta absorbs water, so you can equally well stand it in a bucket of water, but then it just starts to help the whole process, so the compost absorbs the water, not the pot. Put the drainage at the bottom. Yep. Broken crops. Position, so just that, that hole in the middle wants to be pre-draining still. Okay. Proof, because the water's coming out the bottom. <laughs> we're proving what we're doing. Step two is... Compost. Compost. Now it's a general, co gen general purpose compost, and this is a peat-free general purpose yep. compost, so we're going peat-free. Uh, I believe it's the way we need to do. Do you want to spoon it in or should I tip it? Why didn't you tip it in a bit? Okay. Try not to make a mess. That's all right. Okay, do. So, that's probably quite good to plant in, or do you want to um, go I'll, all the way I up? I would go all the way up and have a firm bit down. Oh, okay. So it's all nice and loose. It's all very loose. There we go. And now, as we plant the, the, the plants in there, we can firm this down as we plant, and then you'll be left with the compost level just a bit lower than the lip of the top of the pot. And when you come to water, you've got that much space to fill with water. Fantastic. So um, we've got a selection of, of herbs. I'm going to start with sage, which I use so much in cooking, in risottos, you can pan fry the leaves in stews, it's completely scrummy. And if you grow sage, the saying is, according to the Romans, you can never grow old. So that's a really good one to start with. So here we go. And I'm just going to break it open a little bit at the bottom to give the roots a bit of um, chance to come out and put that one in. So what do you want to yep. choose next? I would just, just firm that around where the root, that little gap between the roots and the pot, it's always good to get a little bit of compost down there so that the roots aren't bang up against the, uh, the terracotta. Uh, right. I think you want the taller item at the back there, something taller than the stage, which would be this rosemary. You can always nip the top out and you become a bit bushier in time. So that one would go immediately behind. Yep. And again, firm the compost around it. So rosemary is a really good energizing herb and um, the beautiful blue flowers also go so you, this should keep coming back through the year you can take bits off use them and and keep the pot going so what am i going to put next well you've got two two sort of more trailing plants there's or well, that's a nice time but this well, time's time. trailing isn't yeah. it so should we put that one in pop that one in down one side so this is a great look at that time it smells amazing a bit of that is going to always make you feel better and I think I've got room for one more. So yeah. should we put mint? Top. Yeah. Or the parsley. Or the you parsley. Could Actually, I'll tell you what, you put the mint the other side so it's equally trailing and the parsley at the back. Right, so you put the mint the other side and I'll put the parsley, put the parsley in here. That's five different varieties in one pot. So the secret is keeping it watered. Now that compost level is actually absolutely perfect for watering. Oh, you're so clever. <laughs> you put it in. <laughs> so, well, done. shall I use this rather than the hose? You can do. So, that's looking quite good. You want a bit? <laughs> Go. So what you've got here is a wonderful planter for a balcony, for a windowsill, for the edge of a garden near your kitchen. It's going to go on and on and it's a really inexpensive way of making sure you can add whatever herbs you choose to your cooking or rosemary even to a tisane, to a tea. So I hope you'll give it a try if you haven't already. See you soon.